Hello, how goes it? Welcome back to Life Stories with Nick Penny. Today's topic, well before I get into it, I'd just like to quickly apologize for not having a video up yesterday. I know I posted on uh, Facebook last night that I would have a video, computer shit to bed, or at least was having problems, so I'm doing this through the telephone and editing and all that, blah 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 So, for anyway, for today's life topic, uh, life story topic, my first time on Spanish-speaking television when I don't speak Spanish, so dealing with language barriers. Uh, the whole scenario played out is I was contacted by a television show that I did not know the name. They asked me if I come on. It was, I was, was told it was sort of like a talk show. They wanted to give me a quick little interview and uh, me swallow swords. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, fine, fine. I didn't know until about two days ahead of time that it was a Spanish-speaking television show that was broadcasted it will be broadcast in like 17 different countries, uh, different Latin American countries. And uh, it was all to advertise and publicize the uh, release of the hardcover edition of Ripley's Believe It or Not, Eye Popping Oddities, which I was featured in for Swallowing Swords and Turning Cartwheels. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, uh, I signed up all the paperwork, blah, 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 got my you know, airplane tickets and hotel all situated, and then I found out that it was a Spanish-speaking television show, and I told them, I'm like, you are aware that I do not speak Spanish, that I will need a translator, and like, oh, yeah, 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 of course, so we, we knew that from that get-go, I'm like, oh, all right, just making sure, so I get to, uh, I forget, Miami, I think that's where I was, Miami, yeah, uh, so I go, and, you know, day comes, I go get on the airplane, Switch flights a couple times, and I arrive in Miami. I go to my hotel, get picked up at the airport, go to my hotel. Nicest hotel I've ever seen, let alone, you know, been in, seen on TV, in person, let alone, whatever. It was great. Florida's weather's nice. It made me jealous of people that live there. I hate Maine, where I live, in the shitty-ass winters and weather, and I was just enjoying my time in Florida. Uh, it kind of sucked, though, because I had jet lag. I hadn't slept. For at least a day before, a couple of days before, I went on this trip, and then I had jet lag, so I couldn't sleep in this wonderful hotel room. Giant ass bed, couldn't sleep, sucked. Lay down for a while and relaxed, watched movies, uh, hung out on my private deck at 4 o'clock in the morning, butt ass naked, smoking cigarettes. Uh, in the you know night, in the nice warm 70, 80 degree weather, it was beautiful. Loved it. I had my nice big view of. Uh, uh, Miami, and uh, looking over a golf course, and it was great, so come the next morning, I get picked up by uh, the people, um, car service, to bring me over to this uh, Telemundo network, and uh, by the way, if you'd like to see the video of the hotel room, and a little recap of my experience in Miami, there is a video in the descriptions below, uh, that was posted right after the fact, uh, also, there is a video of my experience, like, um, sorry for the delay in brain thoughts, for, it, there is a video clip that Telmundo had on t television on my YouTube channel, description, link in the description below, um, so, uh, yeah, I'm watching, uh, so I show up at the, uh, News, uh, the, not news studio, the television studio, and meeting all these people, they're speaking English with really thick Spanish accents, um, I can partially understand most of what they're saying, and, uh, telling them that I have a, well, four minutes into the story, and I'm barely hitting the topic, so, I, uh, I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> I'm horrible at this, aren't I? Second commentary ever work with me. So, I'm standing there with a man, the host of the show, El Rojo Vijo, and he's telling me that, uh, we're gonna ask you some questions, you're gonna swallow some swords, I'm gonna lead in, I told him what I was planning on doing, I'm like, I'm gonna swallow a sword with no handle, proves that the sword goes in, that's not fake, no collapsing swords, no way, that doesn't go into the handle, it's real, and then I'm gonna swallow a giant heavy sword and jump up and down and let it fall down my throat. And then I'm going with no hands, and then I'm going to swallow the three swords and then turn the cartwheel, which is what I was featured in the Ripley's book for and why I was on the television show in the first place. And then I'm going to follow that up with a finale act where I swallow a curved, sharp, 
wakasashi, which is a Japanese sword, just slightly smaller than the katana. And then I'm going to have the uh, host, a perfect stranger, remove the blade from the pit of my stomach. I said, that's what I'm going to do. And they were all like, are you sure? Are you sure? Can you really do this? And I'm like, yes, yeah, this is what I do. This is what I do. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, so what questions are you going to ask me? I need to know in English so that way I can answer and you can voice over a Spanish dubbed person answering my questions. Um, and they're like, oh, yeah, uh, we're going to answer. We're going to ask you this. We're going to ask you that. And we're going to ask you this, blah, blah, blah. And when it came time to start filming, you know, they're like, you know, three, two, one, you know. Uh, and I don't really speak Spanish. My my experience with Spanish is pretty much, uh, I know verde means green, and I can count to ten. So I can, you know, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uh, I can count, and I can say green. So that's my that's my knowledge of Spanish. So, you know, they ask me, you know, questions, countdown, camera starts rolling, and the guy asks me a question in Spanish, and I'm like, I answer the question, and a producer off camera says, cut, cut, no, 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 you have to answer the question he asks you. I'm like, well... What did he ask me? You understand? Like I reset spoke just a few minutes ago, I do not understand Spanish. Uh, so dealing with the language barrier was really difficult. It, we ended up filming for about four hours to get a four minute video. I swallowed swords repetitively over and over again. Did at least ten sword swallowing cartwheels, which normally I do one. Um, in a show, I just do it once. So doing ten uh, was really nerve wracking on my, my on my stomach. And uh, on my hand, uh, I broke my hand last year, so the weight of my body being on my hand is uh, painful. So, you know, doing it all was rather crappy. Plus, I was wearing a suit with uh, leather-soled slippery shoes on a linoleum floor. So, it was really slippery, and I have three pieces of metal inside of my stomach, and my throat, and my esophagus next to my heart, and between my lungs, and all these internal and very needful organs, you know what I mean, like, they're, they're, without these properly functioning organs, you'll die, so it's a scary scenario, um, but everything went over great, and I, uh, left the studio, uh, with some great footage, and video footage, again, like I said, will be in the description below, of those two videos, uh, the hotel room, uh, recap, and my clip that was shown on television of El Rojo Vijo, the Human Marvel goes Telemundo and El Rojo Vijo. Those are two things. So I go back to my hotel room. Again, I couldn't sleep. So I just chilled with some of the other people that I had met at the uh, studio. Um, other performers. Um, and I don't want to name names right now. Uh, but some really cool, interesting people with some really amazing talents who are also featured in the Ripley's book. Uh, we all hung out, chilled. Tossed back a few drinks, you know, stayed positive, and enjoyed ourselves. And then the next day, next morning, like 10 o'clock, I went and jumped on an airplane and went to go do a photo shoot for Ripley's, believe it or not, uh, in Miami, or Orlando, Orlando, because I was already in Miami. Yeah, but that's for a different story, for a different day, for, yeah, blah. Anyway, guys, thanks for uh, listening to this commentary of my life story. Tune in day after tomorrow for another video. We're going to start doing these. I'm going to try to do these every other day. Uh, hopefully, I stick to the schedule. So, every other day, have a marvelous fucking day.